The Vassal Hard Fork is the biggest upgrade to Cardano since the Lonzo Hard Fork in September. This latest upgrade is set to introduce four network improvements, dubbed as CIP31, CIP32, 33, and 40. I'm not really blown away. I'm not really taken aback by this is, you know, this is happening because they've been doing this on their roadmap for years. If something's delayed, and if you look at the you look at the roadmap, you look at, you know, pretty much everything that's happened, you know, with Cardano, there's been delays before. So I don't understand, you know, why everyone's acting like this hasn't happened before. You know, we look at, you know, Plutus, we look at, you know, pretty much all the phases. There's been problems before, you know, remember, remember Shelly? There's been problems before and, you know, there's been times where, you know, they're not exactly where they want to be, which is fine, right? So I'm not taken aback by that, but I am taken aback by is the fact that Charles Hoskinson was grinding up Vitalik Buterin on delaying the ETH merge. And, you know, mind you, they don't want to make that mistake again. If you guys remember back, uh, I think it was 2017 with that whole debacle with Ethereum, which is how we got Ethereum Classic, almost like a Terra Luna situation, minus the price where, you know, they got hacked and they pretty much restored all the Ethereum. You know, they don't want to go through that again. So, you know, I understand why they keep pushing it back because they're trying to steer a ship and they do not want to go through that again. That could, that could honestly impact the market so drastically that, uh, yeah, that would, that would be terrible. That would be terrible. So I'm okay. You know, the ETH merge, eh. you know, I just think that, uh, I think it's ironic that Cardano pushes back, but everyone's acting like they don't do this all the time. If you look at their roadmap, I mean, this happens all the time. This isn't anything new, uh, but I, I respect it because they've been consistent. They've been consistent with everything. They've been consistent with, with their updates and when they update and what that looks like. So, um, I'm not, I'm not taken aback by that. Cardano is currently sitting at 46 cents. One of the most undervalued altcoins on the market. Yes, I said it. One of the t most undervalued altcoins out there. Cardano is changing the game for everyone. I truly believe that. Cardano's just doing what they always do. If it's not right, they're going to get it right. And so that's one thing that you can do to count on Cardano to do that and just how they operate. They're not just going to let something go. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll roll it out just to say, you know, just to meet this deadline. We're going to roll it out here and, you know, we'll fix it on the way. No, they're not, they're not doing that. They're going to get it right the first time. They're going to take their time, right? And we've seen that. If you followed Cardano for the past... For me, I've been following Cardano for about four years consistently. If you if you follow Cardano in any fashion, you'll see that they move at their own speed. So if there is another delay, there's another delay. They don't care. They're trying to get it right the first time. And, you know, some would say almost to a fault that, you know, they 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 move at one speed. But from everything that I've seen with the article and everyone making a big fuss about it, uh, this is this is normal. This is normal. This is what they do. They get it right the first time. It's this, this is kind of what, we, what you want in a, in a blockchain project. This is what you want. This is, you know, taking your time, doing your due diligence. So you don't run into a Solana situation where you're having hacks and, and just bugs all over the place. You don't want that. Cardano continues to be a leading blockchain in the marketplace. Uh, I'm not blown away by this. I actually, uh, think this is, Pretty much standard with Cardano. They never did anything as massive as this Vassal hard fork, but at the same time, if you follow back in their roadmap, you know delays happen. They they're pretty transparent about what's happening, what's going on. Uh, kind of different from Ethereum, where you just don't know what's going on or why it's delayed. They just say it's delayed. So a little bit more transparency on Cardano, which is another reason to appreciate this project. We love Cardano here. We'll continue to talk about Cardano all the time because it is the top blockchain project out there right now. So take a good look at this. Uh, hope you guys got some value out of this video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do and we'll see you soon.